Ready to take your infographics to a completely different level? Animation can take you there and VizMe can help. On this very YouTube channel, we've discussed building infographics for quite some time now. I could read off reason after reason after reason as to why you should be building infographics to display your information. If you've been listening and following suit, well, excellent. But now I wanna make sure you're taking advantage of the tools that VizMe provides and few others do. That is animation within your infographic. Hello world, I'm Mike Ploger and I'm here with VizMe to help you blow away your audience with custom animations built for your infographics. In this video, we'll dive into the various animations you can implement and edit into your infographics right now. There's no expensive costs, no stressful creative thinking, just you and VizMe together as one. Shall we? First things first, and that's just getting started. Often that's the most difficult part for all of us. Taking that first step can be scary, but rest assured that VizMe's platform is built to make your life easier. Once you've found a fitting template from VizMe's vast selection and adjusted the text to fit your purposes, click on graphics in the far left toolbar and scroll down slightly to animated graphics. The first option you'll see is illustrations. Once you click on that, 10 different categories of more than 300 animated illustrations will appear. Everything from finance to sports to real estate or science, Fizme's thought of it all. Consider your purpose. Let's say for this example, your infographic is all about going green and helping the environment. We click on that category and find three more. With each category, you'll have three options. Flat, outline, or isometric. Flat is as it sounds. The 2D animations appear as if they've been placed on a page from a straight on view. You'll find a lot of the same designs in outline, but they won't be filled in with color. You can actually choose one of the outlines and edit the colors as you see fit, either with a pre-made palette or with your very own creation. And the last category is isometric. These appear to pop off the page in a 3D type of way. It's as if the viewer is looking down on the graphic from an angle rather than from straight on. Another way to use animations in your infographics is through characters. Whether it's people, mascots, or even robots, these animations can really bring an infographic to life. Fizme has over 50 characters you can use in an infographic or really any design right now. Let's say you work in healthcare. Go to the professional tab, scroll down, and you'll find a doctor. When you first put him in the infographic, he'll kindly wave back to you as if he's thanking you for bringing him to life. But if you don't like that wave for your purposes, there's a variety of other poses that you can choose from. Maybe you want him pointing to text or coming up with a good idea or maybe even giving two thumbs up as if he's telling a patient that you're good to go. You can even adjust how many times he or she repeats an action and how quickly they do so. Your wish is their command. If you're looking for a way to draw attention to a piece of text or a chart, gestures might be just what you're looking for. You can have gestures with or without objects or gestures that encourage interaction. The first two categories are great for pointing a viewer's eyes towards a vital piece of the graphic. If there's something that your audience must see, use these. Interactions can be used for a wide range of purposes. Hands can shake, they can give high five, give thumbs up or thumbs down, or you can even make a heart with two hands coming together. Aww. Keep in mind, all of the same settings that we've talked about with the other animations apply here as well. Any illustration, character, or gesture's color can be changed within the dashboard to fit your needs. Don't let the default color scare you away from the animation design itself. Oh, special effects. You love them in movies and you may not have known how much you love them in your infographics. Mail opening and fireworks and symbols, oh my. There's six categories you can choose from, all very, very different. If you have something in mind, just type it in the search bar to save you some time. This is a good time to point out the animate tab in the upper right portion of the page. If you haven't explored already, 
This tab allows you to manipulate the movement of your animations. You can adjust how they enter and exit your design, whether it's a fade or spins into sight or maybe bounces to a landing. It's all entirely up to you. Have some fun with it and see what you like best. However, I will say it's important to note that you don't want to overwhelm your viewer with too many animation types. Stick to one or two throughout your infographic to keep it clutter free. While Vizme has offered static icons for a while, now you can take advantage of these fun animated icons. Animated icons are great for giving your design a small bit of movement as these types of icons have quick built-in animations. If you haven't checked them out already, I encourage you to do so. Animating data is possible within Vizme's dashboard as well. You can create custom charts, tables, maps, and diagrams however you'd like. In the far left sidebar, go to data and click one of the first four icons, whichever one is best for your purposes. For this video, we'll create a chart. My favorite part, you can either input your data manually or import data from a Google spreadsheet or Excel file. It's so easy. And once your data is plugged in, hit the settings tab. Here you can really adjust the look of your information. Every detail of that graphic is fully customizable. If you check out the appearance section, that's where you'll find the ability to animate. There's five options to play with in order to add movement to a chart. Go through each one to see which one is best for your graphic. Just be sure to use the same animation type for multiple charts in the same presentation. Don't go crazy. Remember, keep it clean. One final unique way you can add animation in Vizme is with pop-ups. By hitting that link button in the top right, then clicking on pop-up, you can link one design element to another. Let me explain. You can link an animation type, let's say a robot, to text within the design. If a viewer or the presenter scrolls over or clicks on that text, the robot will appear. Genius! This is a surefire way to take your infographic to the next level. You want to wow somebody? Well, these are your fireworks. Now it's time for you to start turning the wheels in your brain and get to work. Animation allows your creativity to reach its potential and Visme awaits your arrival. Head to visme.com right now to get started. And if we were of any help today, please smash that like button down below and check out our channel to see some more helpful design tips. In the meantime, have fun animating. Take your time to play around and see what works best for you. We'll be here to help along the way. With Visme, I'm Mike Ploger, helping you make information beautiful.